I'm so excited to film this video today because I have been following Maddie Ziegler for so long, actually about 10 years, because I started watching Dance Moms when I was 18 and I'm now 27. And I remember watching that first episode and being like, oh my God, this is like the reality show that was made for me. Because I loved dance. When I was younger, I used to dance. And I quit when I was 16 to like take up a part-time job, which I so regret because it was the worst job ever and I hated it and I'd given up dance for it. But anyway, when I was 18, I discovered Dance Moms and honestly, it kind of just like retaught me how to dance, but with so much more passion than I ever had when I was a kid because I used to just watch this show and think like, oh my God, they're such good dancers. They look so good doing it. And it was like all these things that I never like learned when I was at dance school, like how to turn and stuff. So I kind of like taught myself all those things after watching Dance Moms. And now, age 27, I feel like I'm a better dancer than I ever was when I was younger. Minus things like acro, because obviously I'm not as flexible as I used to be. It is such, I was gonna say it's such a huge part of my life, which is so dramatic and extra, but it kind of is, because I just watch it all the time. Anyway, that was a little biography of my life, sorry about that. But I just wanted to give a bit of a backstory because I've been following Dance Moms for 10 years, basically. So because of that, I am a bit of a fangirl of all the Dance Moms cast. So when I found out that Maddie was gonna be doing a makeup collaboration with Morphe, I was like, oh my God, I have to do a video on that. So I have the Imagination Palette. And then I also bought the Cheek and Lip Duo, which is the Peach That Pops color. And I also got the Dew Stick. Is that what it's called? Face Gloss Stick. I'm really excited to try this. It looks so good. I really, really want to like it, but I am going to keep this review very honest. Also, can I just say that I ordered these from the Morphe UK website as it launched. I like ordered it really fast. And it came literally the next day in less than 24 hours. So, yeah, Morphe, UK, nice one. So anyway, let's let's start. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I think, is do my face and like my foundation and concealer and everything and my eyebrows in like a little time lapse so you can still see me do it. If anyone's interested in any of the face products or anything that I'm using, I'll put it in the description box. Fruit flies, the most annoying creature on the world after mosquitoes. Okay, I think I'm about ready. I have to say though, looking at myself in the mirror with a full face of face makeup on is so weird because I haven't done this much makeup in a really long time because, you know, lockdown and all that. So I feel like I might be a little bit rusty, so please just give me the benefit of the doubt if something looks a bit skew -if. So I have already had a little sneaky peek of the palette, and I do have to say that when I opened it, I was surprised because the pictures on the Morphe website and on everybody's stories who I've, I've seen it on, the glitters in real life and the shimmers are so much more like glittery than I thought they were, they were gonna be. So I'm hoping my camera can pick it up a little bit better. But do you see those shimmers? They're so glittery. So I didn't know whether to do like a natural look or like a colorful look. So I thought I would go somewhere in the middle. So I think I'm gonna do like a lilac-y shimmer type thing because I've got a lilac top on. Um, and I want it to match and I really want to try out the She Insists one. But first I do want to do a few swatches of my favourites. So my favourites are God Mom, Angel, To The Moon, She Insists and... <gasps> Please God, no. Oh my God, it's fine. <laughs> right, it passed the test when you drop it on the floor, that's good. I also love the yellow like butter. So I'm gonna just swatch those ones. I'm also gonna go with M3 as well because I feel like that will be my most used one because I do like my browns. Okay, let's do the swatch test. Oh yes, classic Morphe, just glide straight on like a dream. <gasps> that is a bit of me. Oh yes, look at that. I don't know if it's picking it up, but it's like it's like an iridescent purpley pink. It like changes colour a little bit. But I hardly had any on my finger then and it's gone so far. 
Amazing. Ah, okay, so that one's a bit more muted. Let me try and do another swatch over the top to see how buildable it is. There we are, nice. So those are the swatches of my favorites. Okay, so I've just zoomed you in a little bit so you can see what I'm doing on my eyes. I'm gonna start with Maddie Girl. This kind of like really nice matte baby pinky nude. I'm gonna do that as kind of like a base and a bit of a crease action. Crease action sounded weird. Okay, so this is just with Maddie Girl. Um, I think it's such a nice like muted pink. I really like it. It's not too like in your face pink. It's just like a really natural looking one. So let's go for She Insists, the lilac. That is bright as, I barely dipped that in and it's so pigmented. So on top of Maddie Girl, which is like a pink, I think this has gone a little bit more pink rather than the lilac. So if you compare on, from my eye to the shade on the palette, it's a bit more pink. So I do love this shade, but it's not exactly the same purple as my top. So I'm thinking I might put a bit of five on there, which is the blue. I'm, I might just put a bit in the crease and see what happens. A little bit scared, that's probably a bad idea, but we're gonna go for it because we live life on the edge over here. So I'm hoping this is gonna make my pinky kind of purple a little bit more lilac -y purple. This could so not work, so if it doesn't, apologies, but here we go. Yes! Science. I think the shade Angel would look so nice as a lid colour on top of this combo. Okay, so you see the difference there. This one is just with She Insists over Maddie Girl. This one is Maddie Girl, then She Insists, then with a bit of five on top. It's just a lot more lilac, which is what I wanted to match my top. I love that. I think these blend so well together. I've got three different colors on my eye at the moment, but it kind of still looks like one, which is exactly what I wanted. Maddie is definitely at the top of the makeup pyramid and every other pyramid that ever was, let's be honest. I might actually put a little bit more of the She Insists just in the corner here. So now I've done like a really subtle kind of ombre-ish. I tried to match this eye as best as I can with this one. I still think this one's a little bit better to be honest, but you know, they're sisters, not twins. I really wanna see what Angel looks like on top of this. I think it will look really nice. Let's go a little bit further. Hello, I knew that was gonna look good. So here's a little bit of a contrast between without Angel and with Angel on top of the purple. Okay, and finally I'm gonna add a little bit of God Mom, which was the shade that I was drawn to first. I think that's gonna be my favorite. I love Angel too, it's between those two that are my favorites, but yeah, I'm excited to use a bit of God Mom. I'm gonna put that in the very, very middle. Sorry, I don't mean to be giving you the finger or anything. That's just naturally how my hand goes. Right, I was just about to say, let me brush away any excess fallout, but I just checked and there actually isn't any. So, yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna leave it there for my eyes. I love this eye makeup look. I think it's so pretty. It's like really, Colourful but also like wearable, so that's such a vibe. So now I'm gonna open my cheek and lip kit. In here, you get a lovely little combo wrapped in tissue paper. I went for the Peach the Pop shade, which is like a really nice peachy, but also like kind of pink. So I didn't wanna go for the one that was like really pink because it doesn't really match my skin tone. I'm not very good at blending things on my face, so this will be interesting to see if this is gonna work or not. Okay, so it is very, like, 
I keep saying muted. I'm trying to think of a different word for muted. I can't think of the word I'm looking for. It's really annoying me, but it's like really not like heavy. It's very, it's not sheer. That's not the word. What word am I looking for? Someone put it in the comments because I'm. it's going to drive me mad. If I just like rub it into my hand, it kind of goes from like a mousse to a... It's not really a powder, but it's definitely gone to like a different kind of texture on my hand. So it went from like a really moussey, creamy texture to like, I don't know how to describe it, like a little bit more matte once you put it on the actual skin. I do think that helps it blend better actually, the fact that it goes from a cream to kind of like a more matte texture. Is that making sense? I'm unsure. <laughs> I'm not, I have, can't lie, I'm not the biggest blush wearer. And when I say that, I mean, I literally never wear blusher. <laughs> But this one, because it's peach, and because it's so subtle, that's the word, subtle. Because it's so subtle, I actually kind of vibing it, and the color is a little bit closer to a bronzer, so it's more, definitely more me, which is why I didn't go for the pink. But I think that looks pretty good. It's not in your face, and it's subtle. So that is definitely my vibe when it comes to blusher. I'm also gonna put some on my lips because it is a cheek and lip mousse. Oh my god, I love that. I was a bit worried that it would be too peach on the lips, but because of the actual shade of my lips, it's gone more of like a pinky nude, which is my favourite colour for lips. And this feels so nice. It's so like soft. Now I'm going to finish off my lips with the Peach That Pops gloss. Compared to like other lip glosses that I have, this is significantly less sticky. It's kind of in between like a lip gloss and a lip oil, I would say. Should we do like the hair test and see if my hair sticks to it? So normally if I have like lip gloss and I stick it to my hair and then I pull my hair, it pulls my lip with it. So let's see. No, I ain't got one. So far, so good guys. We've only got one product left, which is the juicing. I do have to say that whenever I put normal highlighters on, they just look a bit like too much. They're too like shimmery. Whereas this is kind of just like a balm. I don't think it has any shimmer in it, so I'm very intrigued to see what this looks like. But I'm always scared of like putting on cream kind of highlight products on top of my makeup because I wear powder like um, to set my foundation and stuff. So I always feel like if I use these products, it's just gonna take it straight off. You can just dab it in so easily that you don't even like, you don't need to like smear it, do you know what I mean? Just kind of tap it into place, which means it won't take off your makeup underneath. Again, very natural, very subtle, love that. Okay, so I have finished my whole look. I'm so happy that I really liked everything in that collection. Like, honestly, I'm obsessed with this makeup look. I think it's one of my favorite makeup looks I've ever done on myself. I went with the lilac color because that's like one of my favorite colors and I just love that look at the moment. But there's just so many different options in this palette that you could go with. Like, I love that she's not kept one kind of tone and that she's got like neutrals and then there's like colors, but there's also like some dark ones. I just think, it's very versatile and I'm obsessed with it. Even like this blusher slash lip mousse, even that I love. Like, I mean, that was probably the one that I was a bit worried about because I don't normally use cream products, but I just think the whole thing is so good. I'm so glad that I like it. I'm so happy for her. Like, I feel like I've watched all the Dance Moms girls grow up and now they're kind of branching off into their own little entrepreneurial, successful businesses. And I just think, it's really, really cool to see them go and do that. And I feel like I've followed their lives and it's just it's just nice to see, you know? And also it was really affordable. Like for a palette like that from Morphe, Morphe is affordable anyway, but this one was, I think it was $25, which was around 20 something pounds. But because I used a discount, Morphe have like a 20% off your first order discount from their website. So I used that 20% off code and I think it worked out as the palette was 18 pounds. In total, I spent about 43, I think, which for three products isn't bad at all. I haven't done a makeup look on my channel for ages. So if you like this one and you wanna see more, then make sure to drop a comment down below and give this video a thumbs up so that I know you wanna see more and I can do 
other like first impression videos if you want to see that so yeah just let me know basically don't forget to subscribe while you're down there as well and also you can follow me on instagram and tiktok i have a tiktok now i'm one of those annoying millennials who's like just jo joined on the hype of tiktok so yeah but thank you all so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video goodbye